finally landing and this is the most beautiful island ever. Wow. <laughs> flight was delayed, so insane. We've been waiting about five hours. It's literally 1 a.m. and we are boarding the flight now. Sixteen hours later, the next day, we landed at the airport where I was meant to take my connection flight to my final destination. Hey guys, so I woke up in a different continent today. I'm in a public space, so obviously my mask is on. Guess where I am? Well, there's not much scenery at the moment. It's been quite an adventure of a trip, which I'm still mid-adventure. And when I say adventure, I mean inconvenience beyond. I'm even looking crusty because it's been over 24 hours since I started this trip. And I'm still at the airport, but I'm pretty sure it's going to get better. Um, my connection flight I didn't make it so I'm actually waiting for a shuttle to take me to a hotel for the night then I can actually go to my actual destination um, yeah I'll keep you posted I just realized I was getting a few stares for actually having a mask on <laughs> now can you guess where I am it seems I'm looking around and I'm the only person who actually had a mask on and here I was going on about hey I'm in a public place so yeah, mask down, but yeah, let me get to my hotel so I can really tell you what's happening. Hey guys, so I'm finally at my hotel room. Okay, I'm in London right now. This is not my final destination, but I'm here. I will explain that now. So my flight was delayed by five hours yesterday. And we only left Johannesburg at 1 a.m. Got to London the next day, which is today, Saturday, at around 12 noon. My connection flight to where I was going, which is Gibraltar. Yes, you wonder where that is. <laughs> I'll explain. Um, we left just as um, the British Airways landed. Had we been on time, I had five hours to obviously check into the next connecting flight. But because we were delayed by exactly five hours, I missed that flight by like two minutes because the way the terminals are set up at Heathrow, you won't make it. I remember asking the lady, um, can't I just quickly run? I've got five minutes. She's like, honey, you have no idea where you're going. So BA has booked me into the Renaissance Aura. I haven't even checked it out. I just decided to update you guys. Let's check this room out together. We've got a bathroom, no bathtub. Unfortunately, I'm such a bathtub junkie. It's quite spacious. Um, it's not too bad honestly there's a coffee station a mirror there's my um, handbag and laptop bag because my luggage is still stuck we've got two single beds and yeah not much of a view london is pretty gray Ooh, quite gray and yeah this is my home for tonight and then tomorrow morning first thing i'm off i then decided to go downstairs and have some supper while I prepared to leave the next morning for my final destination. The supper was a full board um, and at least this kind of comforted me despite the delay in my trip. And I'm back in my room from supper. Supper was really delicious. I'm quite full. I'm also quite sleepy. It's been a hectic couple of days or a hectic two days. I'm gonna sleep now so that I wake up early for my flight. I'll catch you on the flip side. Thank you for watching. I don't know if the next video will be a continuation of this or a new video, but for now, peace out.
my Uber's here. It's 4.30 a.m. I'm just rushing out. It's 4.38 a.m. I am at London Heathrow Airport, Terminal 3. Um, I'm using British Airways, so I should go through here, which is E. And actually, I'm pretty early. Uh, I was dropped off exactly by the terminal, so I don't need to actually do any terminal transits, which are what actually takes time. So this is great. Um, I wonder if check-in is actually open for me because I'm about an hour early. But let me get in and see what I can sort out. Okay, catch you on the flip side. Um, I'm in a duty free store. I'm trying to get some perfumes. They are like obviously vet free and also there's like a 40% discount off. So this is kind of insane. I'm going crazy. It's like all the makeup and perfume in the world, all of it. So yeah. And touchdown, finally landing at my destination, the beautiful island smack bang between Europe and Morocco. Literally, it's between Europe and Africa, and most people don't even know about it. Please watch my next video to show you the beautiful island. Thank you so much for watching.